we doing today? Today we're taking out the panel board. We're headed down to Canandaigua Lake in Canandaigua, New York. And um, this will be our first time out for the season. So we're going to give it a try. Yeah, this is our first video um, since you've gotten back from California. Right. A couple months ago. Right. And um, so yeah, so it's a, actually it's a very hot humid day. This is Canandaigua Lake, and this is our first time we've ever really been here with a paddleboard or really anything except going way, way back when we used to have a jet ski. Uh, it's uh, real nice. It's kind of a, it's on the finger, it is the Finger Lakes, and it's a real, I don't know, what would you say? Uh, well, summer vacation, uh, touristy area. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they have, and it's kind of an artsy area too. You know, yeah. They have, um, Center for Performing Arts here. Um, they have a, a water park. This whole beach area here behind me, this used to all be an amusement park. And they had a roller coaster and all kinds of rides. At least back when we were kids, we would come here and ride the rides. But they went out of business and sold all that stuff. And now some of it's become a park and a lot of it's become privately developed like you can see over here. But it's kind of fun. I mean, it's a 90 degree day, so nothing better than to just be on the water and cooling off a little bit.
Look at the size of that sandwich. I know. All right, go. Okay. We're back home after our um, afternoon on Canandaigua Lake, paddling on the paddleboard. It was a pleasant afternoon, a little warm and a little humid, but it was enjoyable. It did feel a little bit less uncomfortable on the water. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. It was very nice. And if you've never heard of Canandaigua Lake, um, it's one of the Finger Lakes in New York, and it's about the closest lake to Rochester. And it was probably where the wealthy people in Rochester used to have their summer homes. And now it's just the wealthy people who don't want to live in Rochester have their year-round homes there. Right, and I, I think a lot of people come in for the summer or just to take vacations there. Yeah, it is. It is. We enjoyed it. It, it was a good lake for paddle boarding because the, the um, north end of the lake where we were at was fairly shallow. They have uh, the nice park there all mm -hmm. along the shoreline. And they have a um, an area where you can launch uh, kayaks and paddle boards. Right. So it worked out really nice for them. And there's also a beach area if you uh, choose to swim. Right. One of the things we wanted to um, talk about in this video is an update on how Diane's doing. And if you remember from our previous video, videos, if you don't, we will link them up here someplace. Um, that, you know, Diane uh, had a cancer scare while we were in San Diego and had surgery and was flown home um, with a nurse to uh, Rochester and ended up cutting our winter trip short by two months. And since getting home, um, well, a lot's happened. Since getting home, I've started my cancer treatments. I'm over halfway through, having gone through four treatments. I'm doing well. I have two more to go, and right now I'm scheduled to finish by the end of July. Um, since we have been home, we haven't been traveling, so the videos that you've been seeing over the past few weeks are from our previous travels. Yeah, they're for all from uh, 2023. Yeah. Uh, but you've kind of missed something that happened when you got home. Oh, the day that I had my first chemo treatment, later that evening, I, be I got intense pain in my back. We weren't quite sure. I almost felt like I was having a heart attack. So Randy took me to the emergency room at a local hospital, Rochester General, who determined that the problem was I wasn't having a heart attack, I was having a gallbladder attack. I spent almost, well, going on three days in the emergency room. Yeah. Luckily, I had a cubicle, so I wasn't out amongst all the people that were coming in for emergency treatment. I stayed there. Finally, at the beginning of the third day, I was moved to a room in another section of the hospital. During that time, I was visited by the the surgeon who would, who decided that I needed my gallbladder removed, but because I just had had my first chemo treatment, my oncologist was not comfortable with me having that surgery right away. Right. So during that time in the hospital, I was there four days, five days. I think five days. Five days. I did have a procedure because I had a gallstone stuck in the bile duct, so I had to have that removed which pretty much relieved my symptoms. And from the time I was discharged to the hosp from the hospital until the time I had the gallbladder surgery, fortunately, I had no further attacks. I waited, what, a couple weeks? A couple weeks, and they ended up po pushing out your chemo treatments two weeks. My first treatment. Second treatment. My second chemo treatment was delayed by a couple weeks. And during that two weeks, I had my gallbladder surgery. And that went very well. Um, there was no complications. It was a same-day surgery, yeah. which fortunately, that's what happened. I didn't have to stay overnight or anything like that. So I was very happy, or we were very happy about that. Since that time, that was the middle of April, I've had three. You, yeah, you're, you've three, had, three chemo treatments. Yeah, you're, you've had your yeah, right. that first one and then three other ones. Right. I will have my fifth one in a couple of weeks, and like I said before, if everything stays on schedule, I will finish by the end of July. Right. At which time, once I recover, and I have to say I've done 
Uh, other than, you know, extreme tiredness for the first couple of days, I've done very well. Um, the cycle runs every third week. And by, by the time that my next treatment date rolls around, I feel fine. I'm, I'm doing great. So, um, you know, we're, I'm looking forward to the treatments finishing. And beginning in, in beginning in August, we plan to get back out on the road. Yeah. With local rallies, we haven't made any definite plans for the fall. We know that it won't be as far away as San Diego. Yeah, because you're going to have to come home right. for a doctor's appointment during the winter. Right. So there's going to be, you know, you're going to have to fly home, mm -hmm. spend the night, go to the doctors, and come back. Right. So, so we don't want to be as far, unless we don't want to be as far, just in case we have to come back home for any other reason. Right. I mean, right. we're just a little gung shy. I don't think there's going to be anything we need to deal with. No, this winter. well, we can't. But we don't know. We never anticipated what happened last winter. No. no. So, and, um, you know, you have to always expect the unexpected and, um, you know, kind of deal with it. Right. But, like I said, I'm feeling good, and uh, we just wanted to give you a little update and um, yeah, wonder and so, where we've been or what yeah. we're doing. And our first rally we're heading back is the uh, Taste of New York uh, Airstream Rally at Seneca Lake. and Samson State Park. Yeah, and there are still available sites to it. Yes. Um, so if any of you guys out there with Airstreams that are in the club want to come and check it out, um, please do. It's, it's a, a great facility, um, Seneca Lake, and you know, you're right in the middle of the New York State wine area. Uh, so that, that is really a nice area to visit. Right. You're close to Watkins Glen, and like yep. Randy said, there's a lot of wineries in the area. Watkins Glen is a very nice city. Yep. It has a um, local state park. Yeah, yeah, the Watkins Glen State Park um, is one of the best state parks. And Samson State Park is a very nice state park. It's one of our favorites. It's, yeah, it's one of our favorites. It's large. The rally that Randy talked about, it's a joint rally with two other units from New York State. And um, we're looking forward. I know as of today, there's approximately 65 trailers already registered. Right, and there's still about 25 sites left, maybe? There's room, I think, 90 sites. Yeah. So... If you're thinking about it, and um, we would love to have you attend, and it's a great group of people. We had the rally last year, and it was it was a fun time. We have yeah. music, presentations, um, food, food. So, yeah. yeah, and you know you can go out on your own. There's things to do in the area, and uh, yeah, it's a nice time. Yeah, and you can come and meet Zephyr and Monty. Right. <laughs> They will be there. Yes, your dogs are, or your pets are welcome to right. the rally. Yes. Um, so, yeah. So, I guess, is that about it? That it, Monty? Monty, it's warm out here. We're sitting outside, and it's still pretty warm and yeah. humid. Yeah, so, he it's... wants to go inside into the air conditioner, which I really can't blame him for. <laughs> so, if you like this video... Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. And until the next time, guys. Oh, no. Hit that bell for notification. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Hit that bell for notification. Want to do this again? All right. <laughs> if you like this video, what should they do? Hit that bell for notifications. Leave us a message. and Subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Until the next time, guys. We will see you down the road. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. We really goof one another up if we don't say the same things. I know.